Welcome back to the Unplugged Wood Shop. It's been a while. YouTube, thank you for waiting. Lots of questions, lots of emails, lots of comments going, hey, when are you gonna start posting some more YouTube content? Well, I've been really busy lately with the Unplugged Wood Shop Toronto, a school, store, maker space, and studio here in downtown Toronto. Uh, let me show you around. So first and foremost, the wood shop is a school and it's a store. The Unplugged Wood Shop is a maker space where you can come and rent one of our bench spaces. And the Unplugged Wood Shop, of course, is a studio. Still the spot where I design and build furniture record my membership and Unplugged Life and where I'm here on this beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon in February in downtown Toronto. So this is what I've been up to. School, store, maker space and a studio. It's uh, 2,100 square feet here. We built six Nicholson style workbenches, two Rubo style benches, couple of saw horses, a low bench for uh, resawing on that I'm going to install mocks and vice into, um, a couple of high benches, a sharpening bench, a couple more things we still have to get done, believe it or not. It's been really busy and that's why I haven't been posting too many videos to YouTube, but I have lots and lots planned uh, in the next coming months. We offer classes on hand tools from sharpening to um, dovetails, of course, to project classes. Last week we did a hand playing class, which went really well. We're doing a box making course uh, in a couple of weeks time. Uh, whenever possible, all of our wood here, minus the mahogany, is a uh, local Ontario wood from maple to walnut to cherry to the Halliburton pine. This incredible slab of walnut is from uh, Midland, Ontario, a couple hours north of here. Just absolutely stunning. And, and I just couldn't, I can't decide whether this should be a big tabletop or I can, should cut it up into smaller cabinet parts. I think that's always the thing when you get these big, beautiful slabs like this. What do you, what would you do with it? Cut it up or let it sit on its big tree like that? Even this big slab by the door when you first walk in is from Oakville, Ontario, which is just west of here, just west of Toronto. And this tree, this slab of silver maple, uh, the tree was hit by lightning and came down, so this is a nice two inch slab off of it. That would make a pretty sweet tabletop as well. First thing you notice when you walk in is the sign that says, welcome to the Unplugged Wood Shop where things are made by hand. And um, since my book, The Unplugged Wood Shop came out in 2012, and I really started um, publishing these YouTube videos, I've had a, an incredible response from all you guys, so thank you for that. This year, now that the school space is finally set up and we're working into projects, then um, we're gonna have lots of time to do some YouTube content, more YouTube content coming. Not in the form of the videos that you were used to seeing um, when I wrote my book and did all those projects like the architect's table and the card catalog and the funeral chair, but I want to show you guys and revisit some of those and talk about those projects that you guys watched me build in those videos. This is the kerfing plane you might have watched me build. I did two episodes on shaping the body, then another episode I shot while I was at my place in Cape Breton on doing the fence. Revisiting this tool, show you how this tool evolved from something that looked very similar to this, a fixed fence version, to the one you watched me do, the one that's in my book, this version. And I'll show you closer details on how it evolved into this version, this bridal version. So as you can see, we've been busy. And, you know, making YouTube videos just wasn't in my, uh, was in my calendar, I just didn't have the time. But now, as mentioned, the school is kind of at a point now, like I still have a million things to do around here, lots of classes and courses to teach. That's cool. 
but what I want to do is just revisit some of the projects and start some new projects. Just as an example, our Moxon style, our, our low bench back there where we want to put a Moxon style vise into. I'm going to show you guys that. On one of our Rubos, the end of the Rubo style benches, I want to install, I have a quick release uh, Veritas vise that I want to put on the end just, to, just for when students are here to make it a little more accessible. We're going to do some just very old traditional Nicholson vices just using a single screw and a back to keep it, to keep it from racking, keep it square. So we're going to be doing some vices and some work holding things in the coming episodes here on YouTube. As well, here at the Unplugged Woodshop Toronto, uh, we have tool partners. What does that mean? It means people from around the world, some of the finest tool makers, have sent us, uh, like in the background you may see the wall cabinet back there, I just finished that. And it's for my HNT Gordon hand tools. Uh, Terry Gordon from Australia makes some absolutely stunning tools. And uh, so I wanted to kind of make that housing, that nice cabinet back there, uh, to kind of hold them all in. So. We're going to be doing some tool reviews as well and showing you guys just what life is like here at a hand tool only woodworking school. And uh, check out the website and look at my classes and courses. We're actually just now developing a curriculum that's going to start in uh, September of 2016 and that'll be a full nine month program where we're going to have uh, hand tool courses, three blocks of ten week programs, kind of a intermediate, a beginner and intermediate and advanced program. So if that's something that interests you, you want to come and spend a year in Toronto with us here at our school, check out the website. So with the school, with the blog, with my membership site in Unplugged Life, um, it's been really hectic as you can well imagine, but thankfully now the school's in a spot where we can get back to posting content on YouTube for you guys. I gotta say, I have some of the best YouTube subscribers and supporters. Very few negative comments, always positive people out there just uh, enjoying this kind of work. And I get that this isn't for everyone. And I, I always laugh at the comments on the laminated tabletop, like, I'm sweating just watching you rip up that wood, or get yourself a table saw, or all those kind of things and, and that's cool you know I know it's not for everyone hand tools aren't for everyone but if you're interested in hand tools if you're interested in working um, in a pace that really makes sense that um, just slowing down getting to know the wood getting to know the tools then stick around so this is the unplugged wood shop a school a store a maker space and a studio and it's what I've been up to for the past few months. We just opened in January of 2016, so we're still really new. Here we are, it's February, but I just wanted to give you guys a, a little tour and to let you know that there's more content coming. I'm going to review some of the incredible tools that we have in the school. We're going to do some projects. I have to install some vices into some of these benches um, and revisit some of the projects, some of my more popular videos here on YouTube. So thank you, YouTube, for being patient with me, and um, I'll see you soon. Make every day a masterpiece.